Okay, today I wanted to talk about <clears throat> seed germination and viability testing. Say you've had, you've been storing your seed and you've had it for several years, maybe several years past what the recommended uh, time period would be and you're not sure if the seed is good or if it's even uh, worth planting. It may or may not be. So what you need to do is take that seed that's in question uh, and take some paper toweling, just a ballpoint pen, and I take a piece of that paper toweling and I write the name of the uh, seed on there that I'm going to be testing. Because I may have six different types of corn or I may have uh, ten different types of tomato plants and once you take the seed out of the packet you can't tell from one variety to another, to another uh, once you begin to sprout these. So label your, your contents. So I'm just going to write on here, I've got some radish seed. This is the only radish seed that I have, so I know if I go back to my packet and look, I won't be confused about which seed this is. So I'm just going to write radish on that one. And this one is, um, is corn, and it happens to be hickory king corn. Um, my supplier that I normally get my uh, hickory king corn from um, has not carried corn with fungicide on it before. This year they, they did. I didn't know that. I prefer it without. But it depends on where you live and uh, how wet the weather is when you plant. In fact, this season, um, fungicide is probably a good thing for most of the, the eastern United States. So what you need to do, and I don't have gloves on and I really don't want to be touching these fungicides with my bare skin, so I'm going to just use a pair of tweezers. Uh, and while I'm on this topic of fungicides, um, sometimes I see people out there using organic fungicides and organic chemicals and they don't glove up, they don't wear any protective clothing when they're using these, these chemicals because they think they're organic and they're safe. Um, the problem with that is that not, organic, not all organic chemicals are what you would really consider uh, safe. It just means that they're organic, they come from the earth. They've not been created um, chemically in a lab. Uh, especially things such as fungicides and sulfur. If this comes in contact with your skin, you can get some burning. If you have enough exposure, it can actually make you ill and send you to the hospital. So be careful with those chemicals. Follow the directions on the packaging. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take tin seed. Well, first I'm going to and I'm going to, I'm just going to lie those down. On this paper towel. Just going to lay them right down. And I'm going to use 10 because it's an easy number to divide by. Okay, so there's my tin seed. I'm going to roll this up. I don't want the seed to come out the sides. Okay, and I'm going to do the same thing with my radish seed. These don't have anything on them, so I'm just going to pick those up with my hand. Okay, now you may um, be reading in a magazine or a gardening book and you may read about viability and you may read about seed vigor, vigor. and the, there's, you know, those are two different things. We're doing a viability test here to see whether or not these seeds will germinate and how many of them will germinate. A seed vigor test also takes into account 
um, under what conditions those seeds germinate and how well they germinate under those conditions such as cool temperatures or maybe excess heat. Just depends on the seed <clears throat> that's being tested and uh, what the problems typically are with those seeds. Uh, for instance, uh, lettuce and heat uh, do not get along well together. So, uh, a seed vigor test for lettuce may include uh, germination under uh, conditions with a higher temperature. And I'm just going to take a plastic bag and I'll be placing these seed in here. I'm going to take just a spritzer and I just want to dampen this paper towel. I don't want it wet. I don't want to be able to wring moisture out of it. But I want it damp enough that these seeds think it's time to sprout. Uh, if you wind up with too much moisture and seal that up in this plastic bag, the seeds can actually rot. I'm going to keep this at about a 70 degree temperature because many seeds germinate well at about that temperature, which is typical indoor home temperatures. Okay, now I'm not going to close it completely. I'm going to leave a little bit of an air space because I do want um, the seeds to be able to breathe. And there's uh, actually an exchange. These seeds are living and there's a lot that's happening with them um, at the time of germination. There's an exchange of um, oxygen and carbon dioxide just as you would have happening in a plant. Um, okay, those look pretty good, I think. So I'm going to keep these and every, uh, every two days I'm going to open this up take a look at these seed and uh, see how well these seeds germinate. So we'll come back and look at this in a few days and talk about this again. Well it's been four days since I placed the seed in the paper towel. So it's time to open them and see what happened. I'll also tell you that uh, two days ago I checked the seed and they were beginning to sprout and I added some more water to the paper towel with the corn in it. It was uh, getting a little dry. So I'll open the radish seeds first. I've been working with blueberries and permanent markers so I have ink stained hands today so you please pardon that. Here are the radish seeds. Some of them are stuck to the paper towel because they're growing through the paper towel. But I believe every one germinated. That's a seed coat there. There's two plants, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay. I thought I had ten seeds there, but I have eleven. So everything germinated. These uh, radishes are ready to go. Now if you are testing old seed and maybe you get a 50% germination rate, you could still use that seed, but you'll have to plant heavier because you know that half of it isn't going to uh, isn't going to come up. Okay, now I have some ink transfer from the name of my corn onto my corn seed itself. Every seed here has germinated, so I know these are nice and healthy and ready to go. So just a little information on uh, how you want to test your seeds and check them to see if they're worth planting or not, or whether or not you need to buy fresh seed. I usually start doing this in um, January and I check my seed if I think it's old and, and might have a low germination rate and then I know what I can order or go purchase.
once the seeds start ar arriving in the stores for the springtime. If this was helpful, let me know. I'll see you back here at Horticulture and Homes very soon. Bye.